Hello Ray, this is It's Me 64 and this is um, episode 16 of the 64 Club, which is my server slash let's play series slash yeah, you know, all of that stuff. Anyway, um, today is going to be a bit different from all the usual episodes and I absolutely love this jump boost. Wow. <laughs> Anyway, um, in usual episodes, um, if you've been watching the series, you'll know that I normally tackle a, like two, one or two big projects, like um, a gold farm, or um, last episode, this roof, and then all the beacons. Um, normally I tackle one or two big projects, but now I want to have a bunch of um, small projects. And that is why we are having a spring cleanup, technically completing every single small unfinished project that I never really wanted to do and got around to um, when I, once I was making that project. So as you can see over here, um, we got the spring cleanup. I know I'm a bit late, um, spring like started some time ago, but that doesn't really matter so much. Um, I'm going to have a spring cleanup anyway. Although it's not really going to be a cleanup, it's more going to be a spring finishing of projects, but I just like the name Spring Cleanup. Anyway, um, I am going to complete this list, and we might even have more than 12. I mean, I hope we don't. <laughs> um, anyway, I will see, and I will finish the entire list, and then show you guys what we are going to be up to this episode. Number one making a bulk storage for all of these shulker boxes and things like that next to the super smelter. Number two, decorating and finishing the hallway, we have to our skelly grinder. And there appears to be a wandering trader in here. Um, okay. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Number three, moving all the mobs that we have over here to, um, yeah, just a better place. Number four, um, filling up all these creeper holes, which are apparently all over the place. And we've got one here, got a hole here, a hole here, got a hole over there, over there, over here. We've got a bunch of creeper holes, and I need to fix that. Number five, removing the basalt farm. And don't worry, I will, um, put it somewhere else uh, in, in the very near future. But I just need to get it out of this area right here. Number six, remove any odd bits and bobs all around the place. For example, um, that netherrack right over there. We've got a bunch of dirt over here. This netherrack right there. We've got some barrels lying around there. We need to get all that stuff removed. Number seven, removing the sheep farm. And again, I will later build this up again, but just not in this location. Number eight, removing the AFK fish farm. Um, and yes, I am going to build this up again later, just not in this location, as I've said a few more, a few times, like, yeah. <laughs> Number nine, removing this cactus farm, which I always seem to forget about. Number ten, removing the ugliest concrete converter you have ever seen. Number 11, moving this ugly thing with one villager in it that I just found. I don't know whose it is, it's not mine, but it's on my property, so this is going to go. And last but not least, number 12. Now this is the biggest one, because it sort of consists of like two, three things. So it's decorating um, the storage area of my um, gold farm, right? Um, there's no gold in it, but we have quite a few double chests of rotten flesh. And yes, every single one of these chests is filled to the brim with rotten flesh. And then we've got some more rotten flesh in here. Um, so what I want to do is decorate this whole area, and then bring in a bunch of cleric villagers over here, which I can sell the rotten flesh to. Well guys, here is our list, and I think I'm just gonna go from the top to the bottom with this, 
And um, yeah, I don't think that you get to see too much of each project because I don't want this um, episode to take much longer than all the other episodes. So I think I'm just going to start off with making the bulk storage right over here. And my idea for this is just that we can have a simple place with, in which we can store all these shulkers with items, um, these shulker boxes, and then also these bulk shulker boxes, which I have deposited over here and which I have started filling up with items. You can technically just see this is a bunch of these storage silos, which I have over here, but that it was too lazy to build a storage silo for each of these items. So I just dumped them in shulker boxes and then I want to deposit them neatly and organize and in an organized way set them up in this room over here. Well, the room is done, and as you can see over here, I have got a few more shulker boxes that are completely full and ready to get transported into that room. Um, anyway, um, that's just three. The other ones I still need to fill up. Anyway, this is technically how it works. As you can see over here, we've got cod. Start over here, bone blocks right here saddles over here etc 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 and now we can just grab some more signs and label all of these places for the blocks that we are going to put in them see over here we've got a few more labelings um, right now and you're probably wondering wait isn't this room a bit small well it isn't really because we've still got a few slots and these are going to be the main items which I'm going to have a lot of. So um, this is only for the items that really do not even fit in the storage system anymore. And there is not too many of those um, anymore really. So no, it's not too small. It is the perfect size. Anyways, now we can get on to number two. The wait. Is there like a check mark? I don't know. Um, I'm not gonna bother finding it out because we need to get to this gully grinder. Um, that always takes some time. There we are. Anyway, we need to now go ahead and decorate this entire hallway and fix up things like this. I'm not entirely sure where that goes. But if I don't remember where it goes, that means it's probably not that important. Oh, and I can go sh stock up the, uh, the miniature shop with the free stuff. I'll bring these right there. I'll bring these over there right away as well um, whilst I'm decorating this area. As I said, I just restocked the shop. And look at all of these enchanted bows. Now you have a bunch of experience and a shulker in which you can take these, then you can actually make an insane bow. I mean, that barrel's full, that barrel's full, this barrel's got some. You can pretty much get an insane bow like that. Um, one thing that really bugged me though, is that people are taking incomplete sets of armor. Look, these were all once complete. I've only ever took complete sets into the shop and then there's a bunch of incomplete sets because people take incomplete sets and also why are all these trees here i am confusion why did someone plant all these trees here I have no idea why Ooh, it's a horse it looks pretty fast yo this horse is so fast Okay, I'm going to steal a saddle for my shop. I want to know how fast it is. Uh, boom. Probably just to spend some boots on myself. No, I didn't evade you. My horse. This horse is okay. It's actually quite fast. I sort of like this horse. I'm going to put it away. Um, and store it for safe um, I, I like compared the speeds of that horse and like the horse I've always had 
And I think that that horse was even faster, so it really is pretty fast. Anyway, I completed the decoration. Now this is quite a large task, um, but it is done. And trust me, and like really, this this looks really really cool. So over here we've got the storage and the chests and all that stuff. And then I've decorated it with the bone blocks, um, bricks, these iron bars, and end rods. Oh, I didn't know that end rods were instant mines. I didn't know that. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, anyway, um, I think that this looks really, really awesome. And it looks a tiny bit messy, but this is supposed to be like a spiral. It didn't work out so well. So we've got like this spiral shape going. I mean, if I show it to you right now, you you can see it. But before, you probably didn't notice. Um, anyway, over here, of course, we got the little area in which you can look at the farm. Um, and then here we've got the AFK spot. So yeah, it's all pretty cool. And I really, really, I really, really like these decorations. Especially because I use the bone blocks, and which I get from this farm, so that really fits with the farm itself. And also the fact that it looks like some kind sort of imprisonment or jail-like something. Um, because that's really what this is. It's a place where I just murder skeletons. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, we need to get on with our next thing. We have completed the first two number three moving mobs. Now that is an in, that's a pretty easy one. I just really need to move all the mobs that are outside right now. I need to move those to somewhere else. Well, there are no animals here anymore. Apart from the sheep. Never mind, there isn't a sheep here anymore. Um, yeah, so there are no animals here anymore, but if I head through this portal, then you can see that there are a bunch of animals right over here, so that's pretty cool. Um, my head fears to be able to get stuck in the roof, that's not very nice. Anyway, there's a bunch of animals over here, um, I guess the hardest things, well, the hardest was to get like, the two wolves in here. Because these are the two untamed wolves I caught, and it was pretty hard to get them in. I had to use minecarts and stuff. Anyway, if I uh, back, it's going to be night. Oh dear, that's scary. Not like I'm overpowered and I won't die to a creeper or something. Anyway, um... We can head into the base and then check what the next thing is that we need to go and do. So, book, moving mobs, creeper holes. Okay, right, so, um, but what I noticed was that technically there are a bunch of things in the same area. So that's the creeper holes, removing the basalt farm, removing all the odd stuff, removing the wool farm, and the AFK fish farm, and the cactus farm, and the concrete convert. And even though those are all like separate things in the book, we could do it all as one big thing together and I need to sleep. And we can just make one big time lapse of me doing all those things. And I believe that is number 4 through 10. So let's go ahead head and do those. Once again, let's check what they are. It is a concrete converter, cactus farm, AFK fish farm, creeper holes, basalt farm, and then odd stuff like that netherrack over there. Anyway, let's get into a time lapse.
guys, I am back in my base after I have sorted everything out up there. Now, I will show you that in a second. But look at the amount of stuff, random stuff I got. I'm taking all that stuff away then. Of course, I got these things, which are actually materials for my base, which were left in those barrels. And then we've got some wool from the wool farm, and then some items from the, um, whatever you call it, AFK fish farm. So yeah, it's really a lot of stuff. And you know, right now, I've just got the bunch of barrels again. You've got a bunch of barrels over here too. It's really, how much barrels are like, am I saying barrels? Well, I mean shulker boxes. Like there's, like the amount of shulker boxes that have already just accumulated like in this tiny amount of time. Ooh. 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 Let's fortune that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eighteen. Exactly doubled. Um, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's okay. I think that's like a tiny bit under average. Maybe, I'm not sure. I think it's a tiny bit under average. Or it's just supposed to get like just a little bit more than double. I think so. Anyways, um, you know, 18 diamonds is better than 9. And it helps over there for sure. Like, well, the amount of diamonds. Anyway, I'm definitely not going to sort this out. I mean, I'll probably sort it out in between this episode and the next one, just off camera and all. But anyway, now is the moment you guys have been waiting for. I need to go into the bed and sleep. Okay, so now that it is actually day, um, we can go ahead and fly right over here and check it out. There is pretty much nothing apart from the nether portal, which we will remove. And then, of course, this thing for our mine. Um, I believe it should be empty, though. Yeah, okay. That's fine. I'm just wondering, trader, what are you selling? Nothing interesting. Oh, that guy was a one-shot. That's pretty cool. And I don't know why I'm calling them with my axe. Um, anyways, it looks so clean over here. Um, apart from, of course, what we have over here which is the trapdoors and a zombie apparently as well. Let's get the sword. I could just stand over here and let it die from thorns. I sort of want to do that, but I think it's going to take quite some time. I've got thorns three on. Wait, let's put on my chest plate then it's going to go faster. Come on, die of thorns. Ho ho! He died of thorns. Okay, that's cool. Anyway, as you can see, I have dug out this area over here, though. But in the future, we are going to do a lot more digging. And now I don't have my elytron. <laughs> but um, yeah, in the future, we are going to do a lot more digging because I want to terraform this whole area um, and make something quite nice over here. Anyway, um, if that is it for this area, I think, um, there's not much more that we can do over here, but there is some more stuff we can do, because I can head over here, and then we can remove the thing with the villager. Now that's not going to be very difficult, because we just need to remove the thing with the villager. Um, for the ones who don't know, it's going to be back over here. I've got no idea what it is, but I, I asked with Dante Ice, and apparently it's his. And he had actually lost it because he forgot where he put it. Well, that means I'm going to have to transport the villager over to Dante Ice. Well, that was done. It wasn't really so hard, but... Um, anyway, Donny Eyes was really kind. He said I could keep the materials, which is great, because now I just have even more random junk lying around. 
Anyway, I believe that leaves us with only one last thing on the list, and that entry was really smooth. <laughs> anyway, that is decorating the gold farm storage plus cleric villagers. So now I've already got a bit of a plan how I'm going to do this. Well, the villager part. Anyway, um, I can head over to my industrial district. And I hope it just doesn't get night. Well, it's really an industrial district, but there's not too much um, over here. Anyway, here's all the villagers. Um, here's all the villagers right over here that I bred. And then Creeper destroyed the villager breeder, which is fine because there's a bunch of good boys over here. Um, and I'm thinking of that about. Six cleric villagers will be good. I'm thinking six cleric villagers will be nice. So I'll transport all those over there. Um, with minecarts, I, I assume. Um, I've got no idea about what block palette I would want to use. But I, um, I think I'm going to put them in like a hallway that we are going to have right over here. Anyway, I need to decorate the stairs as well. You know, just decorate this whole entire area, plus move in the villagers. Um, anyway, I think that gives us another chance for a time lapse. Two time lapses today. That's really great. Uh, I'll make a time lapse.
What do you think of this place? Because I absolutely love it. Apart from two things. Number one is the, the roof. I think that the roof is pretty ugly. No, yep, yeah, the roof is really ugly. I absolutely hate it, but I have no idea what else I can make the roof out of um, that would fit this color palette. I mean, I have I genuinely had no idea. We have the quartz already. I didn't want to put in any more quartz or purple or gold. Um, and I've got, and then I just added redstone blocks, but I think that we should add something very different. And, oh, I need to change these things. Still, I still need to change those to purple blocks. Um, anyway, before I do that, here is where the villagers are going to be. And, within five seconds, they're going to be here. Okay, watch this. One, two. Three, five. Wow. How did these villagers get here? Well, um, I got them from up there, of course. <laughs> I still haven't changed these things. Anyway, I will. But first, I just want to trade with these guys. Because, oh, wow, all these, for ones of you who don't know, all these chests are filled to the brim with rotten flesh. So, um, we need to trade a bit. And wow, these get leveled up so fast. I think it's going to stop trading in a few seconds. Yep. This is a really good XP farm as well, actually. Well, I'm going to trade with all these guys until they trade no more. <laughs> Wee yo, that's a lot of ex- Well guys, that was it for today. Now remember to let me know down in the comment section what you think I should do about this roof. And oh look, I've got XP. Look, there's XP going on. Whoa. Okay, I think I just collected it. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you ever so much for watching. Um, let me know in the comment section if you have any better ideas for that roof over there, because I do not really like it. But I don't have any better ideas myself. Um, anyway, subscribe for future content, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.